Okay guys, so hello and welcome to a new episode. I am thieving once again because I really legit just finished uh, recording the last clip for this new episode and I realized that I don't have the introduction. So uh, yeah, this is the introduction, I guess. Welcome back guys and enjoy the episode. Holy shit, no way. No fucking way. Oh my god. That is so fucking cool. You know, I had a, um, I got myself a, um, how is it fucking called? Uh, uh, Corporal Beast uh, Reaper assignment. So you, I, you know, I ran, I had, so I had a random thought, but you know what? I don't have the tier 85 spear. That would be nice. And I, you know, it would be a nice item to get, right? So I thought, ah, what the hell? I'm gonna go ahead and do some Arhats because I actually made the video on them on the release on my main account, but probably no one's seen that. But yeah, let's check the KC. I, I killed 76 and I killed 1k on my main on release and I didn't get this. But yeah, anyways, now we can buy ourselves the a handle or whatever, you know, for 5k chimes, which I actually pretty sure have. Yes, I do. And we will be able to make ourselves the tier 85 spear. This is fucking great. Okay, so I think it's something in here. Consumables, right? 5k. What costs 5k in here? Nope, not this. Equipment. Yes, serious fang. Okay, that's the thing. 5k. Let's buy it. Lovely, now we just use it like this, right? And fuck yes, dude. Mizuwari is obtained. Lovely, tier 85 spear best in slot for corp. So I guess we can now start doing corporeal beast reaper assignments, but yeah, pretty happy to get this one. Let's see how it looks actually. Yes, I want to... Mm, it does not look too bad. I don't know. It doesn't look any special, but yeah, that is definitely a nice item to get out of the way. And I definitely got beyond lucky on this one because it's honestly, it's still the same day where I, you know, got all these drops in the end of the previous episode. So today is just insane for me. And sneaking in with the random quest reward because I am AFKing fletching on my old school Iron Man. So I figured I might as well use the time properly. So there we go for the chosen commander quest, guys. I, I did this one uh, specifically right now because it's one of the free quests that I need to complete the Elf City Diary. Also, we got 370 quest points now, so that's not bad at all, right? But uh, yeah, I don't think this is a oh, level 48. Fuck off, just drop this shit, honestly. But yeah, uh, 19 quests remaining, not too bad. Two quests, I think the void, it's the Void's Dance and um, some other one that I need to complete and I will be able to complete Elf City Diary. Okay, and that's another full rate completed. God, I love the whole land, you know, when the full rate goes as smooth as this one went. But anyways, let's get the loot. Wow, this is a juicy freaking Yaka loot, but obviously a reroll. And oh, that is even more sexy, to be honest. So yeah, let's definitely just claim this one and let's get Beastmaster loot as well. Come on, Beastmaster, give me a Nacto, collect loot. Ah, oh man, not even gonna complain, today's loot is just freaking amazing. What even is this? Getting a farming level while actually farming herbs? This must not be runescape, but... Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, we are coming in with level 103 farming, guys. I've been really slacking on my herb, run or herb runs lately because, you know, they uh, clash so much with the old school, but I'm trying to get back on my feet on those because I think I mentioned previously that I want to get as many herbal supplies as possible before the beach comes, if it actually comes at this point. I'm kind of curious if it does, so I can get, you know, as much uh, herbal XP as I can, obviously, as well as, ma as many overloads and other potions, so I can, like, literally PVM non-stop 24-7 for, like, a year. Okay guys, and we are coming in with a thieving level, actually level 101 thieving this time, but uh, yeah, I am watching uh, the seasonal deadman mode final in the background and that shit is lit, god. Like, I am enjoying that stuff so much, I should really try out it once for myself, but I probably won't make it far, but uh, yeah, thieving is a great way. Uh, 
I guess to AFK while doing that but anyways uh, actually I am really close to another few levels which I might get either today or during this episode for sure so I guess I'm gonna continue scaling and I will be back with those levels guys Okay guys, and we are coming in with the first of the few levels that I mentioned that we most likely will be getting this episode. So yeah, there we go for a 104 fishing. Not bad at all, almost at 22 million XP this one is. So yeah, gonna finish up capping this island. I'm actually almost done and then I have myself a DG challenge which should give us a DG level as well. Well, this was a scary raid, but yeah, we are coming in with another full raid, guys. So, Yakalut, first of all, obviously. Okay. Reroll. Nothing. Okay, let's go and claim ourselves Beastmaster loot as well. And actually, I'm gonna try something because I recently remembered that I still have those tokens from that quest or whatever that thing is. Where are they? Yeah, there we go, these. So, I think I should be able to reroll Beastmaster as well. So, yep. Can we reroll? And yes, we can, but yeah, four rerolls and no items, sadly. Oh well. Okay, so the daily challenge is done. Let's cash it in quickly to get the XP drop and another DG level, as I said. So yeah, we are coming in with level 106 DG. Let's see if we can get another floor. No, we can't, but okay. So that is 14 levels to go. XP wise, just below 80 million. So obviously still far way ahead of us. But for now, I actually got myself a... Reaper assignment of Hellwear, so let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky there. Okay, so this is not Hellwear, but we are coming with another level, guys. 101 Woodcutting. Sadly, didn't get anything from the Hellwear, but not a big deal. I guess we will get something more in the future, but other than that, one, uh, 19 levels to go for this one, right? You know, I was wondering why am I not getting any clues from freaking Thieving or Slayer because I actually freaking had one in my bank. So anyways, it's uh, pretty much done. So let's see what the reward is. 126k fucking garbage, man, and not even fortunate components. Okay, so that's another one from the POH Aquarium. So let's open 223k once again. No fortune, like fuck off, like legit. Remove these piece of shits from Elite Clues. Holy shit. Anyways, I have one more in my bank. Uh, the Fultry Skellinch, which, uh, which I can open to get myself another Elite. So let's go ahead and grab that one quickly as well. Okay, and there we go for the third one. So let's see what the reward is from this one. <laughs> wow, I can honestly say that these three clues are one of the... Like the ones... Uh, well, they were all trash, so at least we can reroll this one, please. Wow. Like, wow. Are you serious? Four fucking, you know, uh, reward screens and no fortunate components. This is fucking garbage. But anyways, to top it all off, we can go ahead and loot Oyster as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm calling like 100k from this shit as well. 957k and that's my second Sarah Domin's bow. Oh my god, well I guess I can at least disassemble this one for fortunate components, but yeah, I just landed on Druidic Table again, right? Thing because if I'm not uh, mistaken, this is Druidic Table, like the god bows are Druidic Table and I am fucking mad as hell, so yeah, okay. Okay, and continuing on with the monthly, say if I can... Oh, <laughs> if I can finish this statue, I should be getting a level. Uh, so, yeah, there we go, let's move, and there we go. We're coming in with level 102 construction. So, yeah, construction is already at 17.6 mil XP, which is freaking great, assuming I don't actually train it since I got 99, like, all the lamps and all of the, you know, jack of trades and... Literally all of the XPs are going on construction, so it's going up quite fast, which is obviously great because, you know, the more free XP I get for construction, the less T clocks I will need to cut in the future. Okay, another full rate completed, guys. Let's see what we can get today. Nothing from the... Oh my god, so many red bonds, but reroll. Nothing. Ah, Andrew Foods love reward like this, but yeah, now let's... 
leave the group quickly and, and let us grab ourselves another token from the quest thingy, whatever is it. There we go. Still we'll be able to reroll one more. So collect the loot. Collect Beastmaster. Wow, fucking codex. Okay, number six. Can't reroll that, but... Okay, that works, I guess. And completely random, but managed to get myself another lead clue, so let's see. Wow. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. I literally just am doing my daily contracts at ARC. I finished, was about to, you know, go cash it in, and I moved away and they saw this guy. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's been a, or no, it hasn't been actually a while since I got a pet because giving one wasn't too, you know, far away. But yeah, there we go, guys. We got another scaling pet, which is Ramsey this time. So this one is, you know what, let's just quickly double check. I think it's number eight or no, it's number 10 actually, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fucking pets, guys. This is pretty good. I'm definitely going to take it. Let's override familiars. Oh yeah, I don't have a familiar rod, but yeah, uh, nine pets, I guess. We're almost halfway there, only ten more to go. Okay, and another unexpected thing. I am training some Slayer, guys, and we're coming in with level 108 attack. Not bad at all, 3.3 mil till level 109. So uh, yes, yeah, Slayer-wise, I'm only 167k away from level 103. So I think I'm gonna uh, keep to sl with Slayer until I get that level at least. And then I will do some questing. One thing after another, guys. Uh, once again, I did not notice, but I just finished, you know, the task. And this is actually my 300th task with which we got 300 points as a bonus, I guess. And now I am pretty sure that... Where is it? Learn, I think it is. Yes, there we go. I finally have enough points to learn how to fuse rings to full Slayer helmets. Lovely. So let's buy this option right here. And yeah, I think I learned pretty much everything I need from Slayer Master. It's not gonna unlock this one because it's literally just a waste of points. I guess I still need to get myself 1k Slayer points for this thing when I get that Corrupted Gem thing from Corrupted Creatures from Slayer uh, Subhaven uh, Slayer Dungeon. But other than that, I am pretty much good to go for Slayer, I guess, points collecting. And I guess I can start spending Slayer points for the... Ushtabis or whatever like for the soul hunting. I think I only caught like five souls since the last uh, Batch that I uh, you know stored in the chest or whatever So I need quite a lot of these still but anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves Oh, yeah, I actually already got myself the new task is order of ascension creatures so let's go ahead and knock out that one quickly and yeah Hey guys, and there we go. As I promised, not stopping until I get this level. So there we go. We are coming in with level 103 Slayer. And I quickly could see there that there is something new at this level. So yes, Corrupted Creature, Mana Fight Worker. I think this one is actually good because I, I saw a few other YouTubers like Overwatch do them. And people were talking about them in my clan chat. So I think that's a task that I might actually be doing in the future so uh, yeah other than that though since i do have this wire watch slayer assignment i'm gonna finish off the full hour because i am on pen and sora and i don't want to waste it and after that i think i'm gonna go and finish off two quests remaining for uh, lct diary and we will knock that off hopefully before we can you know wrap up this episode and there we go for the first one the void stance quest is completed what is that void knight commendation Okay, whatever, but yeah, we get 10k Hurbler Hunter XP, 8k Summoning, Wood Cutting, 5k Construction, Thieving, and a Mining, as well as 50 Accommodations. Not bad, I guess. Let's see if this gives anything. Take this to a Knight of the Void, Knight of us. Okay, I guess it's some free pest control points, but anyway, so now we only have one quest left, uh, left which is the Void Stirs Back. And to do that, we need to complete the Conquest tutorial, so... I'm gonna quickly check what, uh, however I actually do it and we are gonna knock this one out as well. Hey, and there we go guys, then another one is completed, the Void Stairs Back is done. One quest point, two books of equilibrium, I guess these are the XP rewards. Also, Elite Void Knight Top and Karasi Sword, which I most likely will be able to augment and disassemble for 
f4x components at level 9 because I need to get that freaking venom blood on my uh, crackling but uh, yeah anyways uh, yeah nothing much else to see let's just first of all check this really melee skills prayer summoning man why are there no herb lore okay whatever I'll just take prayer oh it's only 50k xp anyways it doesn't really matter does it so yeah there we go now uh fucking an elite system system dude okay where is it uh areas tear and win oh yeah this is just because I need to buy that shit for one mil gp I do have that completed but yeah other than that we can complete every single task so without any overdue let's go ahead and finish another achievement diary Hey guys, and there we go, we got ourselves one other log after like 100 years of wood cutting kappa. But yeah, we, if we manage to make it into Elder Shortbow, this should be the diaries completed, I think, right? And there we go, respect your elders. Lovely, it's completed, and as you guys can see in the chat as well. Oh, nice, you, you see, now it shows. Okay, it doesn't show... I don't think it showed that after I completed the Wildy Diaries or whatever, but anyways, uh, we don't need this anymore, obviously, so yeah, we can now get uh, ourselves the Tyranwin Quiver number 4, which is the white one, I guess, because... And also with this diary now, we can open this disgusting achievement system and areas. The only diary that we have left... Oh, what is this? Achievements in Manaphos? Whoa, what the hell? Uh, okay, um, Manafort. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Wow, okay, I don't think this counts as diaries, though, so... Oh, well, I guess we'll do it in the future, but if we were not to include the Manafort, actually, the only diary that we have left is a now desert one. I still need to complete the hard and the lead ones, obviously, because I need quite a few quests, as well as to fully complete the mini in tower, so that will take a while, but yeah, on this note, I will conclude this episode, guys, I wanted to make sure to complete the diary before I wrapped it up, so I did, uh, we still got some, you know, even though we didn't do, I don't think I did any PVM at all in this episode, to be honest, well, besides from raids, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, slowly trying to figure out what I want to do next and just, you know, training my skills and whatnot because, you know, the XP is still going up even if I'm not, you know, uh, PVMing or whatever, like 625 mil overall XP, not bad at all. And I am slowly getting my total level up, which is the more important part, I guess, because obviously without the actual total levels, we won't be able to access the top page. But uh, yeah, looking good so far, I think so. Hopefully in the next episode I can do some more PVMing and hopefully I can do some more questing because I only did a few quests in this episode. Okay, so 17 left, which is not bad at all. I guess we are a few steps closer to this case end game. I mean, this case end game. Yeah, only three more quests to go and we will be able to do that. So yeah, I'm just not gonna ramble for too long. So I'll just say thank you guys once again for watching another episode and I hope to see you in the next one. So take care and bye.